Hello, I'm going to demonstrate the operation of the 900 series belt cutter. Before we start, let's talk about safety. Whenever transporting or operating the cutter, make sure we use the handle. The cutter has a chain driven blade that can operate in both directions. We want to make sure that the blade is located in the enclosed area on either side of the cutter before inserting the belt. Be aware of the serrated belt grip when handling the clamp bar. Follow the steps to properly square your belt and mark your cut line. Before inserting the belt into the cutter, we once again want to confirm the location of the blade and make sure it is in the enclosed area of the cutter. We're going to insert the belt. We're going to line up that cut line to the back section of the clamp bar and make sure that the belt is butted up against the channel of the cutter opposite of where the blade is located. And then we'll go ahead and clamp the belt with the clamp bar, making sure we tighten the clamp bar evenly for adequate and even tension across the belt. The crank handle can be located on either side of the cutter but we always recommend the located on the opposite side of the blade. After cutting the belt, loosen up the clamp bar and remove the belt. Notice the cut is located 44.5 millimeters away from the pre-marked cut line. If an exact cut is needed, take that measurement into account. And that's how you operate the 900 series bell cutter.